Hey everyone, it is Daddy and welcome to this update video. I hope you're all doing really great today and so we'll be taking a look at what is currently going on across the tropics as well as what is expected as we head into the next couple of days. And so before I go into details, please do subscribe if you haven't yet done so and tap the notification bell so that you never miss an important update. Okay, and so returning to this wide satellite view of the North Atlantic, we can see here that there is quite some activity taking place within some areas. There we have that uh, activity in association with a front extended from off the east coast of the U.S. down into the Caribbean, and we definitely see some activity in association with it. But looking outside of the Caribbean, we see that streak of showers and thunderstorms. So that is the itch or intertropical convergence zone. Now that is where the trade winds of the north and south meet and as they approach the equator of course uh, that is where we get the most direct rays of the sun so we have a lot of warm moist conditions and as those trade winds converge that warm air is going to rise and eventually cool and condense to develop uh, clouds which would in turn lead to a lot of that shower and thunderstorm activity that we see now this usually affects northern south america and uh, also some other areas such as Trinidad and Tobago as we head into the summer. So as time goes by, we're going to be seeing that increase in rainfall potential for these areas. Now going closer into the Caribbean here, we can definitely see all that activity in association with the front. We see some thunderstorm activity develop, uh, developing in the vicinity of eastern Cuba. Uh, there was definitely some activity here in Jamaica, uh, the northwestern side of the island uh, last evening. We got quite a bit of rain and there was even thunderstorm activity. And with all this moisture across uh, this section of the northern Caribbean here, we can anticipate uh, more rainfall activity, especially head into the afternoon hours uh, same story for other areas such as of course uh, the Cayman Islands we see some activity offshore off Belize but as we can see it is going to slowly dissipate as we progress into the next couple of days but looking at the rest of the region, things are pretty much dry and quiet right now. There isn't much going on. And uh, in terms of the rainfall totals, so we're looking at for the next 72 hours. So uh, this is really for the next three days uh, going up to uh, Thursday night. And so we can see that the most rainfall activity uh, is anticipated in the vicinity of the Greater Antilles for the Caribbean islands, Cuba, Hispaniola, Jamaica, over into Central America. America, we definitely see some of those colors uh, go into those red and orange shades and of course as the map becomes more colorful that is indicating a lot more rainfall but this is what is expected in total so it's not like this is something that is expected in just one day for it to be uh, something concerning but a better chance of rainfall is there for the greater Antilles we have that trough in the front within the region and those will play a part in that expected precipitation but for the eastern Caribbean islands not seeing much rainfall anticipated within this time frame here same story for the abc islands barbados and uh, going down to trinidad and tobacco we see a little bit more rainfall expected there compared to the lesser antilles uh but not a whole lot of rainfall nonetheless so uh, that is the rainfall total that the European model is showing. And I also want to take you guys to something interesting from the GFS. A low pressure area developing north of, well north of Hispaniola as we're going to be progressing into the latter part of this week. So uh, there is a trough in the vicinity of the Greater Antilles and then we also have that front. Now it is not very uncommon for us to see some development when a front is dissipating because remnants of it all that moisture that remains can eventually get itself together and we could see something subtropical or tropical come out of it and that is what the gfs is showing interestingly as we're going to be heading into the end of this week but notice how lopsided the system looks here and i really have my doubts about something developing because of the wind shear let's look at the wind shear forecast from the gfs 
manifest. So uh, there we have the time of there. Now, as we're going to be heading into uh, Saturday, there, there we have it showing that low pressure area. But where we have all of those reds, that is where the wind shear is pretty strong. It really helps to displace activity as those uh, thunderstorms would develop. The wind shear just pushes it away uh, to the east so that is why we would have been seeing that lopsided system but in terms of uh development at this point in time i think there's a low chance of that happening but uh, i make i should make mention of the fact that the icon model is also showing something as you're going to be headed into uh this weekend going into saturday there it is also showing that low pressure area not showing anything defined but pretty interesting and so guys that is what is going on and what is expected for the next couple of days so looking quite interesting but of course as usual i'm going to be keeping you updated on all that is happening so if you have any questions feel free to leave them down in the comments i'll try to respond as best and as soon as i can and of course remember to always be weatherwise